Hey, what's up everyone? So in my last video, it was pretty clear that I was using my AirPods Pro 2 with my Google Pixel 4a, which is an Android phone. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go through all of the things that work with Android and AirPods. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what works and let's start by talking about codecs. Now, the AirPods Pro 2 only use the AAC codec, um, which is pretty good. And luckily the Pixel 4a also has AAC. In fact, if you connect the AirPods Pro, going to settings, you will see that it is using HD audio AAC. And it sounds pretty good because AAC is highly dependent on the manufacturer's implementation. What I mean by that is you can have really good AAC or really bad AAC. So the AirPods actually sound better on my Pixel 4a than on my Galaxy S9. And I believe it's because the European S9, which I have, has an Exynos chip, whereas the Pixel 4a has a Snapdragon chip. And I believe the Snapdragon has just implemented AAC better. So these sound better on my Pixel 4a than my Samsung S9. Now, the AirPods use no other codec, so no Aptex, no Aptex adapt Adaptive, no LDAC, nothing. So you're stuck with AAC, which I assure you is actually pretty good. What else works? On the AirBuds themselves, you can squeeze for play and pause, and that works just fine. You can turn the ANC on and off by squeezing and holding, that works absolutely fine. The volume swiping also works absolutely fine. As far as sound adjustments go, you obviously don't have an app for the AirPods for Android, but I use my EQ in Spotify, the built-in EQ, and I'll just show you where that is. If you go to home and settings and scroll down close to the bottom, but not quite, you'll see equalizer. You can go in there and you can set a custom EQ, which your AirPods and anything else you connect to your phone will use as long as you're in Spotify. So you can tailor the sound to your liking on an Android phone as well. Wireless charging obviously works because AirPods use Qi wireless charging, which is compatible with any Qi wireless charger. So you can charge your AirPods. You don't even need a lightning cable. In fact, I haven't taken my lightning cable out of the box because that's just, <laughs> this is just useless, man. We need USB on these things, but thankfully it has a wireless charging and I have wireless chargers scattered around the house. So charging these is not a problem for me. It also makes a little beep when you place the top of the wireless charger, indicating that it, it is charging. I wish we had USB-C charging, but the wireless works just fine. The other thing that seems to work is adaptive transparency. This is one of the new features that the AirPods Pro 2 has that the AirPods Pro 1 does not. And I have taken this out, out now and I find that the transparency works great just as before, but it seems to me as if it is reducing the very loud sound. So yesterday, a police car passed right past me and I could hear the police car siren, obviously, because I'm in transparency mode, but it wasn't super loud and piercing. Of course, the ANC works fine as well with Android, and it's much better than the AirPods original. Okay, now let's talk about what doesn't work. By, by squeezing the stem, you can go from transparency mode to ANC mode, but without an iPhone, you can't turn the ANC completely off. So you're always gonna be either in transparency or ANC. Also, you're unable to turn off adaptive transparency mode. By default, I think it's on, but you can't turn that off. However, I don't really see any reason you'd want to do that anyway. Adaptive transparency mode is a better transparency mode. So you're also unable to autoplay pause. Now this is, this, this is strange, I thought this would work, but if you place the AirPods in your ear, and you're listening to music. Let's play something really quick. Uh, what's this? Cool, let's play that. Sounds great. When you take them out, 
they continue playing unfortunately so there's no automatic play and pause you have to you have to either manually play and pause with your phone or if you squeeze the stalk if you squeeze the stalk squeeze the stalk it's not working okay so that's strange the squeezing of the stalk works in my ear but it doesn't work if I'm just holding the AirPods in my hand like that. So <laughs> there is some kind of there is some kind of skin detection working. It just doesn't auto play pause when you take it out of your ears. Okay. Um, next, on your iPhone, you have a feature where you can use your phone to scan your ears and make some kind of personalized sound profile for you. But that's not going to work because you don't have an iPhone. Similarly, you're not going to get any spatial audio. Those features only work with iPhones or iPads or iOS products. Actually, our Mac OS as well, I think you can use spatial audio. There is no way to check your battery levels. As you can see, if I go into here and connect my AirPods again, go into settings, there's nothing there. There's nothing there telling you battery battery level. The, the Android widget as well doesn't give you the battery level. That second one there is actually my Galaxy Watch, which strangely also doesn't give you battery level, but that's a whole separate issue altogether. You're not going to be able to use Find My Buds or Find My Case without an iPhone that is iOS specific you're not going to be able to use Hey Siri or any other kind of assistant, although you can just use the Google Assistant on your phone as before, like this. So if I put the AirPods into my ear and start the Google Assistant, what's the weather like tomorrow? So, there we go. It will work, but you need to you need to activate it manually from the phone. So finally, the last things that won't work on oh, on Android are any kind of customizations that you would get on an iPhone. So on iPhone, you can customize things like the um, the double the double press speed. You can customize the press and hold duration. You can customize the wait time between the swipes for volume control. You can access headphone accommodations. You have a balance control between left and right. By default, if you are wearing your AirPods and you take one out, in noise cancellation mode, the AirPod that you still has, have in goes automatically into transparency. Now, I believe this is how most people would like it to work. But in iOS, you can adjust it so that the AirPod that you have in still remains in noise cancellation mode, which would sound a bit weird, but hey, if you wanted that option, you don't have it with Android. You also can't customize any of the sound effects from the speaker in, on the case or from the, or from the AirPods themselves. So you're stuck with the sounds you're stuck with the default sounds, which to me are pretty good anyway. So that's a rundown of everything that works and doesn't work with Android. Uh, I, think, I think it's a pretty good compromise. I still think these buds, given the size and the sound quality and the noise cancellation, are just the best buds you can buy right now for traveling or walking around. I did test the noise cancellation yesterday and it is pretty awesome. It is either just as good or better than my QC45s on the very noisy London Underground.
So that's it for now, guys. I hope that helped.